so hello everyone so today i will i will show you how to uh, how to test rest rest apis uh, post uh, call using postman so uh, you can see right in here i got a code uh, for creating a rest api so in this case you can see right in here i'm using the post method so there is actually two ways so you can get it through get or post but post is most secure way that's why we only use post and I'm also using post but the problem is if you run that code and uh, if you add the parameter there you will not uh, there it won't be uh, you will not able to run that code or you will get uh, false um, error true masses so this is the way you can create a post call I'm gonna show you so first of all I need the class name so my code is in localhost and I'm gonna register so it's my code name register device so so you need to give the path of your script for testing as you know rest is only for testing oh sorry uh, the postman is only for the testing so you can see there is a way you can pass the parameters but this is uh, you can pass your get call parameter by using this parameter tab but not the post call parameter you can see I have check out the post so this is not the way you should uh, add the post uh, parameters so you can see right in here I need almost uh, probably yeah I need two uh, parameter for get ready the post so the so first of all what I will do I need to add a header so the header you should add is the content type for testing any uh, rest API um, you need uh, only for the post calls you must need to add this header the content type then on the body section you can see there is another way you can add something almost like parameter there they call that as k value pairs or the form data so this is the way you should add your parameters okay so in this case I need the email and I have that already so this is a very good thing you can if you use uh, the postman there is a lot of way you can add parameters you can just select and only selected will be triggered so in my case I'll say uh, no token this uh, first of all I'm gonna test it without adding any parameters so let's we'll see what is the value I had so uh, you might even get that because that would be a JSON so this would be like to device not registered that means uh, there's something wrong it can't really register the device so if I convert that into HTML you can see the result is um, that contains a lot of real but right here an undefined index email so there is a way I can really uh, get the message that uh, the device is not registered yet uh, Okay, so Now I will add that email and the token and let's see what's happened So you can see I got the error again device is already registered That means I have that already so I have to change that and I will use 37 your false message if it is start successfully so you can see this is the way you can use postman for sending any post request to your rest api 
So I hope you understand. So let's see on, on my next video.